<laughs> Mike is happy to see you. <laughs> My rate happening in July 25th and I'm not July 25th of 99. And um, there was four of the people in the car that died. One young lady had 57 burger bones, I had a dra traumatic brain injury, torn spleen, and who knows what else. And I was in the hospital from that time until like October 19th and went home from then and had a birthday party. We ended up getting sick because the kid was sick and whatever. And um, I'm sorry if I get sidetracked, but um, and then You're fine, Dawn. completely bedridden. They told mama that was the way I, I'd stay. And they just didn't keep me turned, so I didn't need bed sores. And um, she was like, <laughs> she's a hoot. She said, she's not staying in that bed. <laughs> and um, she had me up, bathed, my Bible study done, exercising, eating, everything, every day. And I, um, And I didn't have the heel cords either. They said I was going to have to get my heel cords cut because mm -hmm. it, it was like I was walking on high heels on my tiptoes. And um, Mama worked it out to where I didn't have to get my heel cords cut. So that worked out too. She was so awesome. Um, but um, when I first started walking, I had to ha touch her somewhere. Everyone, I think that was my trust in her and her belief in me. It just kept me going, and then I believe our belief in God. And um, I told Summer, Summer and her mom this the other day, too. Um, when I first started walking, I had to be touching her somewhere, and that says all a lot about her and her persistence. When they first took my trach out, I thought that my food and drink would be coming out as it came back up, so I always kept a napkin, paper towel or something right here so I'd catch it and I wouldn't make a mess. It was funny, but it healed up pretty quickly a moment said later on. <laughs> um, and then I, I get, have a blind spot too, so I won't ever be able to drive again, not just for that, because I don't want to get out there and danger somebody else, because I want to be silly, because who knows what my brain injury is going to do. Um, and then um, when I get upset with everything, I, every little thing I couldn't do, mama would calm me down and remind me of just how far I've come and how much further I, got, I can go. And nobody thought all that was possible. Yep, I was complete vegetables. And mama would always talk about taking me back to the hospital and showing them just how far I'd come. Uh, but one earthly doctor gave up on me at that point, at one point, and that was Dr. Freeman. And God knew I was going to make it. And just how far I'm gonna go. And I we can't throw in the towel and stop believing. He has a plan for us. I also had a dream while I was in my coma where I walked and talked with Jesus. And um he told me he wasn't through with me yet. There were so many more on the earth that needed to be saved and hear my witness and my testimony. And so much work to be done while I'm still on the earth. Um, and then as I was in the bathroom this morning, brushing my teeth, I thought it went um, a couple more things when I began to walk again. And we had a long hallway. When I lived in Iron City and I had to go back and forth from side to side, keeping myself up and balanced and stuff. And then um, we had a garden. And that's the best thing you can fall in this garden soil out there picking veggies and stuff. <laughs> if you're going to fall, fall in that child's soil, right? And then, um, I think it took me back thinking about that. I remember all of this. Okay, so I'm a work in progress. I might have so much to be thankful for and so much to live for. As I do with all of us. My granny was still alive when I had my wreck. She was such a hoot. So mom would take us up and take us to Walmart. She'd be pushing granny, granny would be pushing me. We were both in wheelchairs. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> then I had a Carolyn, Nate, Nate, my neighbor Carolyn McLeod. Her and Robert, she said, Robert, guess who's here? Out of town company's here. Come on. Oh. 
when I was on the porch and um just talk and the um mountain lion went through my yard then and I was like I wanna try I wanna try to um I'm glad I'm sitting over here, Carolyn. I'm going over here sitting with you. And I'll be trying to pet that thing because it was pretty. It was like cold. Mm -hmm. So, but she was awesome. And I love and miss them so much. But I got some awesome neighbors now, too. I hear you. <laughs> and I tried to skate, but cannot keep my balance too. But um, I, I, don't, I don't run, but I hadn't tried. I walk fast and a lot, and I swam too. One of my favorites is getting in the pool with my doggy. I miss mm -hmm. my mom, pool, my garden, and my doggy, and my granny too. I'll see them again all again one day. Oh, and my arms could only stretch, but so far above my head, and mom got me a punching bag for that. Um, and everybody was so right that we just can't give up. We gotta keep our eyes on God, and we gotta keep on doing all that we can do, and God will, God will bring us. Do our best and do the rest.